hey guys good day and welcome to my youtube channel it's so good to have you back here again my name is nurse blessing domene i am a registered nurse midwife and i have been practicing for close to six years now and in today's video is just a follow-up from the last video about hiv self testing so please if you are yet to see that video please check the description box the link to that video is there go check it out so today i just want to be showing you what to expect when you go to the hospital to do your hiv testing so it's quite different from the self-testing this is done at the hospital by a professional so i just want to give you a tip of what you should expect when you go to the hospital to get your HIV testing done. So I will be using the determine kit for that demonstration. So if this is what you'll be interested in, please don't go away. Just stay put. So here on this channel, we'll talk about health, lifestyle, um, faith, we talk about mostly health because we want you to be able to make better health choices for yourself and your family. Then I do a little bit of vlogging, so you might want to check that out too. So let's just go right in to do what we have to do today. So guys, here on this channel, we talk about health lifestyle and i do a little bit of vlogging if that is what you will be interested in please click the subscription button and don't forget to also click the notification bell so that you will be the first person to know each time i post new videos this channel promises to be fun it promises to be educated it promises to be a lot a lot of fun please don't go. So guys, today, like I said, I will be showing you how to use the Determine testing kit. This is usually done in the hospital by a professional, but you can use the HIV self-testing kit at home, the oral self-testing kit. But if the outcome is positive, you will need to come to the hospital for a confirmatory test. This is not a confirmatory test, but so guys, we will just go straight to the testing so i'm using the determine test kit and i'll just peel that open like this you can see so you can see where this white point here is where the blood gets into and the reading comes straight down here so thereafter i will pick up the alcohol swab i don't know if you can see that this is the alcohol swab pad so that's what i'll be using to clean the part of my finger i'm going to be pricking and may i remind you that this is not like the self-testing kit where you don't need blood here you need blood to make this work so the blood can either be whole blood it can be serum so just clean like so thereafter you chop then this is a lancet pin can you see that so i will uncap that can you see that so I'll just go ahead and give myself a little prick gently, 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 gently. Don't ask me if that was painful. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. So I will use the capillary tube. This is the bottle for it, but I've already taken out one that I will use. So I'll just do this. As you can see, the blood is, as I squeeze, I pick out the blood as it comes along. I hope you can see this clearly. I really just hope so. And then I come to where we have the point where we put the blood on the strip. And I gently do this.
I might still come back for more blood if I'm not getting enough like it is there. I squeeze very tightly to ensure I get enough blood. So... It's usually done by the professional for you. So I'm just trying to see how to do this by myself, on myself, so that you can see what that looks like. Then this is, so this is the chase buffer that we use for this particular test kit. This is what it looks like. Then you just apply one drop of it. One to two drops just to allow the reading to happen speedily. As you can see, it's reading quite fast. I just hope that is really clear enough for you to see. So we will just, this result comes out in about 20 minutes. By 20 minutes, you should get the result for this. Like I said, this is not a final um, testing. It's just a rapid diagnostic test. It can pick other viral um, diseases. So if this comes out positive, you will still need to do a specific test for confirmation for HIV. So the reading is just going. I hope you can see that clearly. So if you can see clearly, you will see a point where we have patient and you will see a point where the call control. So for a negative test result, you will just have a line just marking on the control point. But for a positive test result, you would see a line both at the control region as well as the patient region. So that will show that this result is positive. But as you can see, I think this is done reading and um, the result is negative. So I hope this video was very helpful. Please click the subscribe button, subscribe to our channel and also click the notification bell to always come back to our channel when we post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Do have a great day. Bye for now.